Hi, I am Mika Takami. I'm a textile conservator for Historic Royal Palaces, currently leading the costume conservation team for the new exhibition, Victoria Revealed. Here with me um, is a set of 12 dolls that, uh, which go on display for the new exhibition. Um, they form um, a collection of a total 132 dolls, which Vict Queen Victoria herself um, named and dressed and also played with as a child. So um, I'm going to show you uh, the um, one doll which represents how exquisitely each doll is dressed. And this is named as Amy Brockard, Countess of Leicester. Um, as you can see, not only she has a very, very uh, um, lavish silk dress with the over sleeves and the little uh, uh, shoes to go with, with metal embroideries, um, but also she's got the gold crown, the hairband and earrings, and also the long sleeve, which is also trimmed around the cuff with a metal embroidery. So this is the level of craftsmanship and also the quality of the each doll was made um, by Victoria. Another doll that I really want to introduce to you um, as a special one for me is Monsieur Massard, who is obviously dressed as a clown, but apparently he was a musician and composer as well, who wrote a music for Victoria and Albert. So obviously he's carrying a guitar. Um, he's one of the two male characters in the entire 132 dolls. So he's a very rare chap in the collection. In terms of conservation, he presented the biggest challenge to us all in the conservation team. Um, he's also wearing a very sheer fabric um, costume and his sleeves are rather puffed and balloon shaped. Um, his um, top would be a blue, but is now faded to a very, very pale blue. When we received him, I don't know if you can see it here, his sleeves were rather worn and shredded. And if you breathe in front of him, you feel that the fiber might run away with your own breathing. So it was that delicate stage. So at some point, there was um, a concern that this doll might be too fragile to go on display. But um, uh, somehow, we managed to solve the problem without interfering the original component, which is the fact that we dyed very, very similar semi-transparent silk crepelin fabric to the color that matched the original, and also silk thread, which is finer than your hair. I basically fell in love with him. <laughs> He's very cute with ruff. Um, again, quite, you know, adorable face. And he's a musician as well. The important thing about these dolls is the fact that they are made or dressed and played with Queen Victoria herself. So each one of them carries a, a historic significance in terms of st stitching, or decoration, and also wear and tear, that there might, there might be some evidence that she, she had played with, with them. So when it comes to conservation, we really have to take a minimalist approach.